Okay, so today I am comparing these two drones. On this side, I have the HS360S, and on this side, I have the HS720G. And full disclosure, Holy Stone did send both of these to me in exchange for previous videos that I did, but today I really wanted to put them head to head and explain to you what I like about each of them and how they differ. So first off, some of the things I like more about the HS720G include the fact that at 376 grams, it does weigh a little bit more than the 360S. But what that means in my experience is that it does tend to be a little bit more wind resistant. So I can fly it even on days where there is a bit of a breeze. Also, the 720G does have superior optics. First off, both drones do have 4K cameras, as I mentioned, but with the 720G, that 4K camera at that resolution also supports up to 30 FPS recording, whereas the 360S only supports up to 4K 20 FPS recording. But it doesn't end there. The 720G has far superior image stabilization thanks to the included two axis gimbal. Unfortunately, the 360S does not have any gimbal whatsoever, so you are going to be getting shaky footage. And finally, the 720G, being a larger drone, has a slightly larger battery, which means more flight time. Off a single battery charge, you can expect up to 26 minutes of flight. That's in perfect conditions. But compare that to the 360S, where under perfect conditions, you can only expect up to 20 minutes of flight time off a single battery. So greater wind resistance, improved optics, and longer battery life are all reasons to choose the 720G over the 360S. However, don't discount this little thing because I tell you what, it certainly has its advantages. First off, the lower weight, again, under 250 grams, means that this drone does not need to be registered with the FCC. This one does, okay? And that is quite a bit of an inconvenience. And the other big advantage for me with the 360S is I just find it so much more comfortable to fly. The GPS technology seems to have improved drastically over the 720G. Both have GPS, which is good, so they generally keep their position, but the 360S does a much better job. And to be honest with you, I just feel far more comfortable flying this drone. I will push the boundaries with it, whereas with the 720G, I tend to be a little bit more cautious in my flights. And even though the 720G, as I mentioned, does have better optics, I tend to get the shots I want easier with the 360S because I'm not afraid to push it into places where I'd be a little bit worried about flying with the 720G. And even though I myself only really fly within line of sight, if you wanted to push the range, then the 360S is rated at over 9,000 feet, whereas the 720G is a little over 3,000. But the drones themselves are fairly useless without the controllers they are bundled with. And I can tell you now the controller with the 360S is far better than the controller that is included with the 720G. First off, the 360S controller has a rechargeable battery and the 720G controller does not. You have to keep supplying your own AA batteries to keep that running. And the 360S controller just generally feels to be the better made of the two. 720G controller does feel a little bit flimsy, if I'm honest with you, whereas the 360S controller reminds me more of the controllers that are bundled with DJI's drones. So ultimately, when choosing, I think it comes down to whether you want the better optics that are provided by the 720G or the better flight experience that is provided by the 360S. And while that's a personal choice, for me, I would choose the 360S because what use are better optics if you are not confident enough to fly the drone into the position where you want to capture your shots? But ultimately, either drone is going to be great if you are a beginner or thinking about getting into the drone flying hobby. So whichever one you pick, hopefully you will be happy with. But I hope the video has helped you. Thank you for watching.